So you need to be innovative day in and day out. You need to be thinking out of your box. You need to forget what you were doing yesterday. You need to do something different right now because every guest who will be coming in will expect something more from you today. So my name is Kush Kapoor. I'm the CEO of Rosier Hotels and Resorts. Hi, Kush. How has consumer behavior changed as a result of COVID-19 and the lockdown? People are wanting to come out for staycations to celebrate the events which they have kind of missed. They would prefer to go to a place which is more of a serene. They they want to be a part of the nature. We've not seen the birds chirping for years. What we've seen in the last two and a half months, we're seeing the blue sky right now. But we will want to get out of their houses. So I do see a huge potential for smaller hotels. especially the resorts and the boutiques which have a lot of moving space for the guests when i talk about a bigger hotels like a corporate hotels i do see the business picking up especially the hotels which are closer to the airport rather than the center of the city which are more of a volume hotels where have a lot of crowds in and around so people are going to avoid that as much as they can the airline hotels are going to benefit a lot because of these transient passengers so going forward what does the hospitality industry have to keep in mind because of covid-19 I see the hygiene will be the first and the foremost thing which all the hotels will have to take care. The guest will be very very keenly observing hygiene standards the hotel is. That's going to be a topmost priority. We've been doing our internal audit checks to make sure that everything is in place. We're talking about right from a mask to gloves to PPE kits just to make sure that first of all the team who's handling the guest is safe and secure because that's the first motive. How personalized can I get with the guest but without physically touching the guest or coming closer to the guest when you talk about loyalty a smallest dent in terms of the quality standard is going to make a huge impact on the guest next decision seems like it's going to be a challenging time for hotel staff how are their lives going to change so i don't see moving air is going to be those fixed working hours is going to be much more flexi hours which has which hotel industry have never seen till date it's going to be a hygiene manager I see every employee of the hotel is going to be a revenue manager also. Uh there'll be much more flexibility coming forward in taking their decisions so they'll have more freedom to take calls at their level on levels. The way hotels make money will also change, right? How will hotels generate revenue? Something like the food delivery which we are doing right now uh, we've tied up with uh, Zomato, we've tied up with uh, the Make My Trip, we've tied up tied up with Swiggy. and we are doing our own home deliveries also we will continue home delivery even after the hotels open up because that's going to be a huge booster to the revenues moving ahead second uh, is the mini bars mini bar will be out see i'll tell you if i'm if i'm a guest i'll be very concerned that if i'm entering a room i'm not sure if the previous guest has already touched those mini bar items so what surety do you have so you know it's better to take out the mini bar put a nice menu in the guest room with a very attractive pricing so you are happy it's more hygienic it's more economical the hotel doesn't waste much it's a win win situation for both the guests and the hotel in that case rosie daus if i talk about it, is the first hotel in india where we've started the co working space so if you have a nice co working space about 100 110 people and you are able to maintain a good physical social di- distance between them it's going to help us tremendously on that part